Thank you for taking the time to review Black Imaging's Code of Conduct for Contracted Engineers. Whether you've been working with us for some time or are only now applying for vendor approval, we want you to understand what our expectations are during a service call so that together we can accomplish our goal of providing excellent service 100% of the time. The following list was assembled based on our first-hand experience with some of the best engineers in the business. When service is conducted in the, in the following way, our customers have more positive experiences. Engineers who create these experiences with the quality of both their work and their personal conduct are far more likely to get a call when support is needed. That said, let's dig into the code. First, engineers need to have the proper documentation, tools, and training for the equipment they will be servicing. It's always better to be straightforward about your capabilities than to attempt a job you're not prepared for. We also value punctuality. When you agree to handle a call for us, please provide an ETA on site. If you'll be running late, please communicate that with the service rep that arranged the call with you so that we can let the customer know. While you are on site, you should dress in attire that is neat, clean, and does not display company logos other than black imagings. Whether in person or over the phone, we ask that contract engineers be courteous and professional in their communications with customers. Once a solution or diagnosis has been determined, contact the assigned service rep so that the information can be passed along to the customer and updated in our records. If you come into contact with protected health information, it is your responsibility under the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act to ensure that none of that information is copied, disclosed, or otherwise disseminated by any action you may take on the system it's stored on. When parts are needed to complete a repair, please be prepared to give the number of the part you need to the service rep so it can be ordered quickly. After a repair or service is finished, we ask that you leave no documents or business cards with a logo or company name other than black imaging. Before you leave the site, be sure the work area is clean and as you found it. This more often than most other items on the list leaves a bad impression. Do not provide a customer with pricing on parts, labor, or travel. This should be routed through the service rep, who will pass it on to the customer as needed. You are responsible for gathering any unused or exchanged parts after service is complete and for working with the rep on their return. Block Imaging can provide an electronic or hard copy of the field service report form. Please complete your field service report and return a copy to the Block Imaging service rep within 24 hours of completing a call. We'll pass a copy of the FSR along to the proper person. If you must have a signature on your company's documentation, please do not include any pricing on the copy the customer will sign and do not leave a copy on site. If the work you've completed necessitates the filing of an FDA 2579 form, please send a photocopy of the completed form to the block service rep. This documentation will be needed before we process your invoice. If a customer contacts you directly for future service, notify Block Imaging prior to performing the service, per the vendor approval contract. These are the best practices we've observed in our top engineers. Punctuality, clear communication, and overall professionalism offer customers a positive experience and create loyal repeat business for both you and Block Imaging. We appreciate you taking the time to watch and thank you in advance for helping to build a better service experience for hospitals and imaging centers.